Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we're gonna to take a look at the latest software update that was pushed out to the Galaxy S23 devices. Now this one is gonna give you that December 1st security patch. The size is right around 421 megabytes, and the version ends with BWKA. Now I do see this update being pushed out to the S23, the S23 Plus, and the S23 Ultra. I haven't seen it just yet on my S23 FE, nor the Flip 5 or Fold 5. But with that said, if you guys do see this update for that December 1st security patch, write a comment below the video inside the comment section, so this way myself and others can see it as well. So we're just gonna resume this download, but what we're gonna take a look at is if there's any Samsung applications or services that got updated with this little update here, even though it doesn't say anything here, this one is at 421. I feel like I can maybe find at least one thing that was maybe updated. And we'll also take a look inside the Galaxy Store as well as GoodLock to see if there's any other modules or applications up to, you know, basically to update from there. And then lastly, we'll take a look at the Samsung security mobile information to see what was updated on the back end that most people will never really see. But it's gonna let us know if it's a high vulnerability, medium, or low. And it's also at this point in the video, I like to state that if your brand's new here at the channel, Jimmy's promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. Now, as that phone is updating, I do wanna let you guys know about a current sale that's happening on the shop Samsung application. And I will be placing a few links below this video inside the description, letting you know a few of the deals that I would take a look at. But this is called the Discover Samsung Winter Sale. It goes on between December 11th through 17th, which it just started, but it's also soon about to end. There's a lot of stuff going on here between their phones and TV and home theater, their appliances, watches and audio, tablets and computing. They have flash deals, deals of the day, bundle and save, and so much more. So if you guys are looking for anything new in the world of Samsung, this might be a really good time to take a look at it. A lot of times this is one of their bigger sale events is that Discover Samsung Winter Sale, again, happening now until the 17th. So now that the phone has been updated, how about we go through, take a look at a few of the applications and services and just to see if there's anything new and then we'll take a look at whatever Samsung mobile security team had to say. So the first thing I'll take a look at is Samsung Home. And a lot of times this will just fix any animation issues or navigation issues. So before the update it was 150055. This one is the same at 150055, so no change there for the Samsung Home. Then we'll take a look at Samsung Gallery. Now this one before the update was sitting at 150042. Looks like 150042, so nothing there that is new. We'll take a look at camera really quick. Now this one before the update was at 140093. Looks like the same version here, 14.00.0093. So again, still nothing new. And then we'll take a look at Samsung Internet, even though I use Chrome, uh, but a lot of people do love to use Samsung Internet. There's a lot of really cool features you can do. This one before the update was 23.011. 23011. So it looks as if that little uh, security patch of 421 megabytes didn't really go to anything that we can see on the surface, but we will take a look at the back end here in just a second. But how about we also take a look inside of GoodLock just to see if there is anything new sitting there. Sometimes there's some updates, you never really see it. So up here, this will actually let you know and update all of them at the same time. So if you have more than one, you can actually just hit it with one little, you know, one little tap of the screen. So it looks as if there's only one module that's updated, which is Edge Touch. And so you can go through, we can actually take a look at it in the store if you wanna see what is new for Edge Touch. It's one of those things that I don't really use personally. I just have it downloaded just so I can see if there's any new updates that ever gets pushed out. Then let's take a look inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store. This is where sometimes they'll actually put some newer updates to applications. I know that I updated a few just earlier this morning. They went through, they updated automatically, and I couldn't see what they were. But I do know that there's two or three above this one. So whatever they were, there was a few updates inside of there that you, that you might want to take a look at if you don't have that auto update turned on. Now let's go and take a look at the Samsung mobile security team's you know, notes and details of what they updated. So how I'm able to take a look at this is you go inside of your software information, you tap on this little security patch level, 
And then through here, it just puts you inside of a source for Google. You just want to click on read. Then you want to go down, click on Samsung, and then it links you over into the Samsung mobile security. So this is what I can, you know, place below the video inside the description. Here's that December information. So as you scroll down and you take a look at these, the top portion is all from the Google side of things. So these are the Google patches. For critical, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for critical. Underneath high, this when it's this long, it's usually like 50 or 60 of them. There's nothing that's moderate. And then below that, these are everything from the Samsung side of things. So basically the SVE, that's going to be the Samsung vulnerabilities and exposures. And so these are all the patches for those. So some of them will say moderate, some will say high. But let's just go through and count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it looks like 15 of the patches are on the Samsung side of it. Almost all of them are just bouncing between moderate and high. You are able to actually, you know, read some of these and you can maybe figure out where they actually come from on the back end. But it looks like this is where most of that, that security patch information comes from. Basically, that 421 megabytes is all mostly just sitting right here updating all of that stuff. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.